Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and this is a video that I usually do every time there's a new version of Windows 10 uh, to explain how you can defer that update uh, if you want. One involves 35 days of pause which also will pause security updates which is not necessarily the best but one involves the pause of the update pretty much as long as you want the only thing that will go through is security updates and that's the best option in my experience for this. So if you fear the May 2020 update, if your version 2004 is not something you want to have right now, what you could do is first of all, go into settings, go into all settings, go into update and security and uh, the biggest way of deferring the update is in the advanced option uh, for deferring everything. It will even, re, uh, you know, not in, in, if you choose 35 days. So here today is uh, June 15th. So it gives you to July 20th, 2020. You will not have any updates come through until July 20th, 2020. So 35 days of zero updates. That includes the next security patches of Windows 10. My preferred method, if you don't want to have the update for the May 2020 right now, is to use a different method called metered connection. Once again, if you go into your settings, go into network and internet. If you click either Wi-Fi and click down, you will see, of course, uh, your connection if you're on Wi-Fi. If it's Ethernet, you'll go here and you'll see Ethernet connected. So depending on your plug with a cable or not, you'll be able to choose which one between Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Click the connection you have. And here at the bottom, you will have metered connection. You should just turn on set as a metered connection. This feature is there to limit the amount of gigabytes you use every month due to updates. So if you're on a connection that is limited, if you have a, you know, a data cap and don't want to actually go over your data, this is the way to do it uh, for the, uh, you know, to limit the amount of data. And that prevents all big updates and all updates that are bug fixes from coming through. That means next patch Tuesday, you'll get the security updates. But anything that is bug fixes, anything that is a major update like the May 2020 update or version 2004 is not going to go through as long as this is on. That means you leave this on, you'll stay at whatever version you are for as long as you leave this on. Now, don't leave it on until your version expires, but you can actually, if you want, leave this on now. Say you're on the, um, you know, May 2019 update or uh, 1909 on November 2019 update. Well, you can turn this on and wait, you know, later in the fall, for example, to install anything if you want. Uh, so the only way to go back and, you know, get your versions again and all the bug fixes is to turn it back off. And then you'll be probably flooded with updates if you do this for a long time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.